name is Dave McComb. I'm the engineering manager here at Blake Hill Fluid Control, and we're here to talk about how to change the uh, diaphragm on our AOD damp dampener. All right, so I've got the dampener here. I got it um, clamped into a vise. This one, you could replace the, uh, pull the bolts off one at a time, but it's a little bit better to do them across um, so that it kind of evens out the torque on everything. So we'll do that here. Okay, so now the diaphragm will just pull out of the housing. So we've got a shaft and uh, the rubber diaphragm and the Teflon diaphragm. So <clears throat> we'll pull this off here. Now, when you're replacing this, you need to remove this uh, shaft uh, unless you've got a replacement shaft. Um, and you've got to be really careful not to nick the, uh, the surface of the shaft. So if you nick the surface of the shaft, uh, it will eat out your, uh, it'll destroy your O-rings. So we have aluminum blocks in here. You could use wood or, a, um, you know, a, a rag, but whatever it is, you need to make sure that the shaft doesn't get nicked. So then you can turn this. comes off. <clears throat> All right. Now we'll clean the shaft off. It should have some grease on it. Now we'll install the new one. There's our new one. You gotta make sure that uh, the shaft goes all the way to, uh, like contacts the, uh, the rubber. If you don't do that, it will not perform correctly. Okay, now that's in place. Now, when you replace the bladder, you should replace the O-rings. There's three O-rings in here. And uh, I don't know if you can, if we can see this really well. It's a small hole. And uh, the O-rings are fairly deep inside there. There's one right at the at the front, that one's easy to get to. Uh, then there's another gap, which it has no O-ring. And then there's another groove with an O-ring. And then there's another groove with no O-ring, and then there's another O-ring deep inside there. Be pretty hard to do this without an o-ring pick. We'll get this third one out of here. There we go. Okay, so we want to clean all the old grease and debris that uh, collects on here, out of here. Now this one is pretty clean. Okay, now we'll uh, install the, the new ones, the new O-rings. Here's our handy dandy little O-ring tool. So I drop the O-rings in here. All right, so we drop it in.
Okay, make sure they're all in there good. They are. One, two, and three. Okay, now we want to lube the O-ring. So we got some uh, O-ring lube here. I'll put a little, a little lube on the shaft. And we put a little bit down in the hole as well. A, uh, my O-ring pick works for this. Uh, you can, there's a number of other tools you could use. A uh, popsicle stick works fine, or a pen or pencil. Something just to get the lube down in the hole. Okay, now we're ready to put her back together. So there's the, the rubber diaphragm and the Teflon diaphragm. And you want to make sure that there is as little air as possible in between the two. So put them together and you push down on the table in the center so that it uh, seats. All right, we'll line up the shaft, drop it into place. There we go. All right, now we're ready to put her back on the pump.